everybody, it's me, and I wanted to um, show you my um, bracelet collection, <laughs> and it's not much, and none of my jewelry is really like pricey or anything like that, it's just costume jewelry, but it's things I collected over the years. Lots of stuff I've lost because I've moved so many times and people borrow them and never give them back. Um, but anyways, and uh, I'm just going to start off. And uh, the first thing I have, and I think everybody has these, is these things. And I have a few and I think I've bought some, I've gotten some for gifts and that's about it. I barely, I barely wear them. Once in a while I do because I, I'm always playing with them and going ching 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 ching. So <laughs> yeah. So I think everybody has these things. And this is just like a broken one that I use as a hanger for it just in case somebody needs a hanger. <laughs> That's a good idea to use. And um Okay, and let me see here. And this is a new bracelet that I just got that not that long ago from I Kate House, and it's got the leopard print and just wooden beads, and it's stretchy, and it goes on, and it looks like that, and it's really cute. And I basically got it for the leopard print and the little, sorry, the leopard print and the little pink right there, because. I didn't really have anything with pink and I didn't have anything that was I needed something to match my necklace and I'm, I'm going to be doing what I have for necklaces next so okay and I better put these off to the side so I don't re-show them okay so my next one also is fairly new and I got it from Target, and it, sh uh, uh, it says love, and it's got a little peace sign there, and it's really got rhinestones that change color, and it's really cute, and it's got the little clasp here. Um, what does it say? Oh, it's just got a little crown there. You can see that, and uh, it just, I'm kind of freaked out about this because it's so big, and when I put it on, I thought this little part here would move, so I could, and if anybody knows how to work these things, and I'm telling you, this little round thing right here does not move, and I'm scared to yank on it because I feel like I'm going to break it. But uh, yeah, it goes on and it's super loose, like very, very loose. But it is cute, so I have been just using it as an ankle bracelet. But yeah, so. Um, and I'm seriously trying to make my videos shorter. And next is some purple glitter. And this is just like one of those open up things. And it goes on. And I have like really weird skinny arms and hairy arms. <laughs> I don't know why. That's part of like my heritage. But yeah, this is really cute. And it's just purple sparkles. And I got this from I Kate House. Very cute. And then more purple from I Kate House. And this is just a stretchy bead. I don't know. And it is. I went through a purple phase for a while. And it goes like this. And it's super, super cute. It has some kind of a. I gotta fix that. I got some paint on it or something when I was doing a craft. But yeah, it's so cute. And I really like this. Okay. Let's put these where I don't 
and show them. And my next one is this one. And I really like this one. And I got this from, from our jeans. And it looks like this. And you can adjust it, like squeeze it and adjust it. And this one I like. And I'm actually going to wear it, I think. Oh, and this one here is one that I made myself. It's, uh, I have to pull it down. Uh, made out of like a, a piece of a belt. Somebody might have seen before that I've made, uh, like I had this belt and it was so nifty and, uh, nifty nifty I I just I love doing crafts and recycling and I come up with the weirdest stuff but yeah this one's really cute and I did this all no so of course and it does actually come apart but I'm sure you know how a uh, belt and fasteners so I won't do that. <laughs> okay, and my next one here is another one like this one I'm wearing. Actually, I'll take it off so I can model them. And it is just a gold cup, and you just squeeze it on your arm. And don't mind my arms, they're so. I haven't been putting any tanning, and you can see all my marks. And I'm so sorry about all my scars and veins and everything else, but that's what it looks like. <laughs> and for anybody that doesn't know anything about my scars, please go to my self-harm page, because I don't want to explain it every other time. And here's the next one. This one is really cute. It's like a gladiator cuff, and I love this one. And it just goes on the same way, and you wear it like this. And you kind of find the feel of it. And uh, yeah, so it's really cute. I don't know. It kind of makes my arm look funny. But I like it. Oh, and I dropped it. Okay, next is my. I don't know where I got this, but it is just like the weirdest bracelet I've ever found. And it's like, like this. Has anybody ever seen one of these before? And it's just like stretchy and wiry, and it's, it's actually really chunky. Uh, it's cute, but you got to have the right outfit to wear it. And just goes like that, and it's really, I don't know, I don't wear it much because I don't understand it, but I think I got it at a thrift store and I just had to get it because it was weird. <laughs> if worse comes to worse, I'll take the beads off and I'll make something, I don't know, I just, I barely wear it. So, and the next one I got, I don't know how many of you have gotten this one, with the, um, what was it, um, pads or tampons or something, but you got this little bracelet, good grief, I wish I could remember, I'm sorry about my, my memory, and that I don't remember things, but yeah, it's adjustable, and you put it on, and it's really cute, and you got these for free with some Tampax or those colorful tampon things, and yeah, so I got that, and uh, of course my crafted one, which I just took like an old bangle and glued those on. <laughs> Because I wanted something pink and sparkly, but I never finished this side, so I still need to finish that, but I still wear it anyways. 
but I, I mix it with something and nobody really notices when I want something pink. And then I have this one and it's another one of these weird ones that stretch. And I really like this one. I always match it with things. And it has like little stones missing, but I don't care. It wasn't expensive. I can go get a new one. I think I got it at Ardeen's. These stones always fall out. But I always find something to do with them. So it doesn't bother me. I think it's cute and I still wear it. I don't think nobody ever notices. Well, maybe if they look really hard, they notice. But I could always pop some back in there because I have tons of those things. And then next is my snake. Snake. And this snake, I believe, um, goes with my snake rings. And uh, this is how it looks. And it just looks like a snake weathering around you. Is it two headed? Yeah, it's two headed. So it's really cool. I don't need this one. Oh, I better not. Uh, so, and okay, so here's one. And this one is a little leather one. <laughs> And it says, Chew, Chew Mom, Love, Jimmy. And it's got a little heart there. And it's stapled. And he made this quite a while ago. And it's so cute. And it's made out of leather. And I don't wear it because I would just definitely lose it. But I think I did wear it, you know, for the first. I got this years ago. So, he's one of my favorites. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and show you these because these are like bracelets. And these are my watch bracelets. And it just looks like this. And it's pretty cool. It just goes on. It's not tight. And it's one of those pain in the butt ones that you have to like have three hands to get on or get somebody to do it for you. I will attempt to put it on. Oh, they make me so angry. Okay, I got it, I got it. And it might have it upside down, I don't care. But it's just a loose dangly one, and it's got chains, and it's really cool. And it's a watch, but I don't have the time set. I haven't worn it for a while. But that's it. It's very cool. And I like it. And it's sort of like a bracelet. <laughs> I wear watches as bracelets, and I, like, lots of times I don't even check the time on them ever. <laughs> like, it's just a, a piece of jewelry <laughs> to me. Because now we have our, you know, iPods and iPhones and whatever, and that's where we see what our time is. So, and this watch is very special to me. This watch, I actually had a few, and I had a few, I had quite a few more rings, but this was my sister Gina's watch. And it's really beautiful. It's got little gems. I really don't know what it's made out of. But it is. It's a quartz. It's kind of upside down. And it's pretty. And I love it. And I love wearing it. Um. Okay, and where are we next? And everybody knows how this goes on. 
And this is just one of my pieces. A lot of these I, I don't wear alone. I chunk them up because, you know, you wear as many as you want. It's really your own business. So, your own business? It's up to you, I mean. <laughs> and here's the one that I got. Um, I love this one. It's got the gems. Oh. Oops, sorry. I'm still going backwards. Let's see. Oh, there we go. It's sparkly. It's pretty. And it doesn't open unless you have the keys for it. And the key. You just take the key and put it in here like this and it opens and then you can cl clip it on your thing but if you ever lose these they give you two if you ever lose them here you're not going to get it open and I, don't, I don't know unless you go to a locksmith I guess <laughs> okay and here's my beautiful homemade one <laughs> this is when I first started getting better when I was really sick with my depression and my bipolar and at first, uh, uh, there's something all over this, <laughs> but uh, it's when I first started getting better and I started to do things like I used to, like I never used to be able to do anything, like, and I didn't care, and I've always loved doing crafts and drawings and paintings and making everything and rearranging and plants, like I just, I'm a, I, I love to go, and this is one of the first things I made. And to match them, I made these earrings, and I also made a barrette. But, <laughs> you know, it took me so long to make these, and they're nothing special, and they're not done on the inside, but they took me so long. And they're just a reminder of how I started getting better, and... I keep them and I love them. I don't really wear them. I think if I had something like really corny to dress up or something to dress up as, I would. But yeah, I have a breath that goes with these. But this was right when I got better. So, and started YouTube. Like, I was just, I was in a wreck before that. Like, I was just horrible and everything's falling off this as I speak okay and then what do we have next my daughter gave me this Ooh. I, it's tangled so I don't know how it works um, did I break it? oh no I didn't okay and it's a little cherry and then it's got like three it's got like three little strings or no, chains. I'm sorry, I, I don't know what I'm doing. And it is like super cute if you can see those gems in the leaf there. But it's super, super cute. And it's another one that I wear on my ankle. And uh, then there's, of course, this one. I just got this one. And I can't seem to wear it. I find that I don't know. Like I'm having a hard time wearing it too. But I have worn it a couple of times. It's it's got. I really love it, and it's really heavy. And I got it from Arcade House. It's very heavy, and uh, it's got those beautiful gems in there. You see those? And I just love costume jewelry because if I ever wore like expensive jewelry. I would lose it or it would fall off because I am a klutz and things wreck when, you know, I am like, that's why I always have bruises all over me. I walk into everything. I don't watch where I'm going. And these, of course, I got from Emily Triple X Grace. She sent me a package. Um, and, uh, well, actually, I mailed her something um, for her. She was going away, and I mailed it, and I actually, like, um, 
I mailed her a little card with something. They were fundraising, so I sent a little something, and uh, I didn't know. <laughs> This is how dumb I am. I put the postage of it, just a ca Canadian stamp on it. And so I told her it was coming, and then she mailed me a little package with a bunch of candy in it, and then this little bag with these bracelets, and um, it's so cute. And uh, these bracelets, like, I'm so afraid to wear them because I'm scared they're going to break because they're homemade. And they're hard for me to put on, and I'm terrified of breaking them, so I'm not going to put them on. But she sent these, and then my letter ended up getting returned. So she got, she, the thing that she sent me actually got to me before my letter even got to her because it was returned. And I still have it sitting in my, my room. And uh, I haven't had a chance to mail it out, but I did mail her something a different parcel back because I sent her a parcel back before that the letter got returned with candy and and um, charms and and it, like these cute little things. If you want to see her channel, um, go to Triple X Grace and um, you'll see what I got her. But I still have to mail out her, which is a little too late. But I'm still gonna mail it, resend it. I'm just like. I've been so brain dead lately, and I haven't been able to go and get stamps. Is that weird? Well, it's not weird for me, but look at these. Okay, I'm starting to talk now. They're, I don't know how they're made, but apparently somebody made them, and they're just, they're gorgeous. And she apparently has a matching pair, too, so it's like friendship bracelet. And I will get that mailed out. <laughs> and she understands where I'm coming from because she has bipolar too and she knows what it's like to get where you don't go out. Okay, so there. And then moving along. This also was Mr. Dina's. And uh, it's just a little bracelet. This is many, many, many years old, and these type of things used to be. It does have a little engraving there, but <clears throat> it's really cute. The engraving on it is just beautiful. And I don't wear this. This is just something I keep. And it has an engraving there. And then the back is like this. And it's beautiful. That's, um... And then, moving along to my, where are, holy cow, okay. Moving on to my other little package, Stephen gave me this, this is the first present he ever gave me. And it is a beautiful necklace. It goes like this, and then it has these charms that come down. He has really good taste. And, uh... It's when we first met, and we don't—he didn't really know me that well, but he bought me this, and these earrings to match, and it's just gorgeous. But I just thought I'd show this. I don't know why I'm showing you this. I should have showed you this with my necklace stuff. And I got talking, so I apologize. And then one more bag, and then we're done. Oh, I actually wanted to show you one more thing. And this, of course, and I put it in this special bag. Marissa loves blue, too. She got me this special bracelet. And it's so shiny. And these beautiful, shiny earrings to match. And they are unbelievable. And I want to just ask her if she made these earrings or any of this stuff because I've never seen this kind of stuff before and they look beautiful and sparkly when they're on but okay I will go faster I love these Marissa loves blue too and I will put the links to Emily's and to Marissa's down below I haven't been doing that lately and I forgive me I'm just like whatever I just wanted to show you something quick on how to clean up your rusty old jewelry. You know when you get a piece of jewelry like this and it's all dirty and scummy? Okay, look at how scummy that is. Okay, what you do is you take a toothbrush and you take some white toothpaste 
and this is just plain old pressed and then you go like this and you get a little bit on there and you use a soft bristle and you just scrub 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 just like brushing your teeth on both sides and I'm just going to do a little bit so we don't have a five million year old long year old long video and we just scrub I'm just going to go over here so I'm not scrubbing all over the place. And you can do that with, this, with any kind of jewelry, but with gold or any soft, high quality gold, I would take it to cleaners because these, I basically just do a, your um, whatever, your costume jewelry. And then after you're done, I'm not doing the whole thing because I'm going to show you the difference. I'm just spraying it with some water. Just going to throw a little water. And don't mind the mess behind me. I have a table full of stuff. And then I'm just going to wipe this with a soft rag. And then we're going to see how shiny this is. I don't know if you can see. Where are we? the difference of how shiny it is right there and then when I show you the back side it's all dull and yucky but on this side it's nice and shiny I don't know I should have showed you on something better but anyways okay um, I'll go so I don't go on forever and I'm sorry my videos take so long if you guys don't like it Watch them in parts. <laughs>